Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to solve the velocity and acceleration problems using uh, the graphical method. Okay. So uh, here's the first problem that is uh, based on the slider crank mechanism. It says there's a slider crank mechanism with uh, the crank 480 mm long and it rotates at 20 radians per second in counterclockwise direction. The length of the crank, I mean the length of the connecting rod is 1.6 meter. When the crank turns through 60 degrees from inner dead center, determine first one the velocity of the slider, second angular velocity of the connecting rod, third one velocity of point E at a distance of 450 mm on the connecting rod, fourth one the acceleration of the slider, fifth one angular acceleration of connecting rod and lastly acceleration of point E. So first thing we need to do here is draw the uh, configuration diagram of the slider crank mechanism based on the given things. So I'll tell you how to draw the configuration diagram or which is also known as space diagram. First what I'll do is I'll uh, draw the crank whose length is 480 mm and uh, it has an orientation of 60 degree with respect to inner end center that is we can call it as horizontal for, for now. Now here this is the fixed point and let this be the crank with orientation. 60 degree with respect to horizontal this is 60 degrees and its length is 480 mm let us name this as point O let this be point let this be point A let this be point A now next thing he has told us is the connecting rod is of length 1.6 meter. So what I'm going to do is with uh, A as center and radius as 1.6 meter, I'm going to connect an arc which intersects this extended line from point O. Let's say it intersects here. So this line joining point A and this intersected arc will be the connecting rod of 1.6 meter length and let this be the slider now let us name slider as b and let this grounded point be g also he says that there is one more point e at a distance of 450 mm on the connecting rod so let this be 450 mm on the connecting rod this is point e which is 450 mm from the connecting rod. So this is the configuration diagram. So next thing is we focus on finding the velocity of the slider first and for that we need to draw the velocity diagram first and in velocity diagram we know that the components or velocity components of the rotating uh, links will be perpendicular to the, perpendicular to the orientation of the links whereas for slider it will be along the motion of the slider so first i'll take the fixed points here the fixed points are o and g which we represent it in small letters let this be point which represents o and g okay now first thing i'll do is i'll find out the linear velocity of oa that is velocity of the crank by using angular velocity of the crank which is 20 radians per second so v oa will be equal to omega OA into OA. So it is nothing but omega OA is 20 radians per second into OA is 480 mm which is 0 0.480. So V OA will become uh, its value is um, 9.6 meter per second. So now I know V OA which represents velocity of OA and I also know that the velocity of OA will be perpendicular to the link itself. So like this basically. Okay. So with this point that is O as the center, I'll draw a vector of magnitude this and direction perpendicular to OA. So it will be uh, like this. Okay. And now I have point A. Now I also know that the velocity of AB which is a rotating component again will be perpendicular to the link AB like this. So what I'll do is I'll take point O as center and I'll draw 
a line which is perpendicular to this link I mean this link. So, that is I will just extend a line like this. which is perpendicular to A B. Okay. So, this is the line we have drawn. Now, next thing what I will do is, I will concentrate on the motion of the slider. As I said, the velocity component of the slider will be along the slider motion that is along this direction. So, with G as center, I will draw a line, I will draw a line which represents velocity of the slider. So, now I have the intersection point which is nothing but point B and this will be the direction of the vector. So, from this diagram now I can easily find the velocity of the slider which the first thing he has asked velocity of the slider that is uh, I can directly write velocity of slider is equal to V O B by measurement, I will get it as uh, 4.8 not 4.8 sorry, it is uh, 9.79 meter per second by measurement. Okay. So, next thing we need to do is find the angular velocity of the connecting rod, angular velocity of the connecting rod and that also we can find it quite easily. Now, we know that the connecting rod is A B and we have the velocity component V A B. So, what I will do is angular velocity of connecting rod. By measurement, I have V A B which is nothing but this vector is equal to 4.8 meter per second by measurement. It, I got it as 4.8 meter per second and now angular velocity formula I will apply that is omega a b is equal to v a b by a b and I will get this as 3 radians per second. So, this is the angular velocity of the connecting rod. So, next thing we need to find is velocity of point E. And to find velocity of point E, I need to locate point E on the velocity diagram. So, how will I do that? I will follow a simple rule that is I will use this formula A E by B A is equal to A E by B A. Now, here the LHS corresponds to the velocity diagram and the RHS corresponds to the configuration diagram. So, from this I know a e is equal to A e by B a into B a and if I find this, I will be able to locate point E that is I will get the value of A e and A e I can mark it here. So, let this be point E as per I got okay. and later I can just simply extend a line from O to E and this vector O e represents velocity of e with respect to O or I can write velocity of point e by measurement that is V O e is equal to it is 9.98 meter per second. So, this is how to find the velocity of fixed point E. Okay. So, next thing is we need to find out the fourth thing he has asked us. Uh, he has asked us to find out the acceleration of the slider, acceleration of the slider and for that we need to draw the acceleration diagram first. So, I will tell you how to draw the acceleration diagram first. Again in acceleration diagrams we need to fix one point that is uh, point now we will mention it as O dash G dash which meant I mean which represents O and G which are fixed points. Now, here we know that in the problem it is given the crank rotates at a constant velocity or uniform velocity of 20 radians per second. 
So the crank will be having only radial acceleration component. Okay. The connecting rod will be having radial as well as tangential component of acceleration and the slider again will be having only one component of acceleration. So first what I will do is, I know that the radial component of the rotating parts, radi I mean radial component of acceleration of rotating parts will be along the orientation of the lines. So first we will find out the acceleration value that is So I have a formula A radial of uh, OA is equal to velocity of OA whole square by OA. Okay. So from this I get acceleration of OA that is radial component of acceleration of OA as 192 meter per second square. So now that I have this value that is the radial component of OA and I know that the radial component of OA lies along OA that is from the configuration diagram I know that the acceleration radial component of acceleration lies along OA. So what I will do from O dash as the fixed point I will draw AR OA that is the acceleration component radial component along this with magnitude this one and it should be directed towards the center towards the center means this point is the center so towards the center means this direction so this is our vector which represents acceleration component of OA so let this point be A dash let it be A dash now next thing I will find out the radial component of acceleration of uh, AB or BA is equal to uh, it is VBA whole square by B and this value I will get it as 14.4 meter per second square and again I know that this radial component of acceleration of the connecting rod will lie along its orientation. So I will take a vector of magnitude 14.4 meter per second square and direction along AB. I will draw a vector like this of magnitude 14.4 meter per second square and direction AB and let this point be X this represents the radial component of acceleration of BA. Now I know that the tangential component will be perpendicular to radial component. So from point X I will extend a line which is perpendicular to A dash X like this. I okay. will simply extend a line and now what I will do is I will have to represent the acceleration of the slider. I know that the acceleration of slider will lie along the motion of the slider. So what I will do is from G as the center I will extend a line like this which represents the direction of acceleration of the slider. So here what I will get is point B dash. I will get point B dash and now I will get the resultant vector that is resultant vector which represents the acceleration of B dash A dash. Okay. Now what I will do is I will again have to locate point E on the acceleration diagram. So how will I do that? Also it is very simple. I can use the formula B dash E dash by B dash A dash is equal to B by B A. Here LHS corresponds to the acceleration diagram, RHS corresponds to the configuration diagram. So I will get the value of B dash E dash is equal to B by B A into B dash A dash. 
So once I get the value of b dash e dash, uh, which certainly will be away from this like this. So here I'll get point e dash and I can join a line from o dash connecting to or g dash connecting to e dash which represents acceleration of e dash with respect to o. So this is the acceleration diagram and uh, yeah, as, I, as they asked us to find first the acceleration of the slider, the acceleration of the slider will get directly by the measurement that is, uh, it's really, uh, it will be very simple that is, uh, hmm. the acceleration of the slider is, fifth one that is acceleration of the slider, A O dash B dash or I can represent it as A O B is equal to 76.8 meter per second square by measurement that is this one. Okay. Next thing we need to find out is angular acceleration of the connecting rod. Angular acceleration that is we have the formula alpha B A or alpha A B is equal to A T B A by B A where A T B A corresponds to the tangential component of A B which is X B dash B A corresponds to length of length of link B A. So here I will get this value as 106.5 radian per second square and lastly he has asked us to find out acceleration of point E that is vector O dash E dash which is nothing but acceleration of O E is equal to by measurement it is 235.2 meter per second square. So this is the final answer. This is how we solve this problem. Yeah, thank you.